Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a honey hole haul. I don't know. Uh, this is a thrift haul from one of my Southern California honey holes. Before anyone asks, I think we all know people don't show their honey holes. They're kind of sacred spots, uh, but this is a non goodwill. Their pricing definitely is all over the place. The average this day was right around four, a little over $4 per item. I will write on the screen when I can find my receipts and get the exact amount of how many items and how much I spent, but lots of fun stuff. Definitely a good pricing for a thrift store. So let's just jump right in to three pairs of shoes. Um, this is my first time finding this brand and it is SJP. These are little flats with a bow accent on the top. Uh, if you aren't familiar with SJP, it is Sarah Jessica Parker's shoe line and it is very expensive shoe lines. So the shoes tend to re resell uh, for anywhere from 50 to $300, depending on the style. Uh, I would expect with these, I should be able to get somewhere between 80 and 100 is, is what I'm thinking, but here's a little blue accent on the back. These are handmade in Italy. They're 38 and a half, and they just have some minor signs of wear, a couple light scuffs on the leather, but really adorable shoe, and I was really excited about these. This is a boot brand I've never seen or heard of, uh, but I really like the style and boots right now. Anything fall, winter, I am definitely focused on. Um, I know it's still hot out for a lot of people, but fall is right around the corner. And I think a lot of people like shopping for fall items. So these are an adorable pair of boots that have a lace up, a low block heel, a pointed toe. Uh, there are some light scuffs on, on it, but I, I, I don't think it really matters if you like the style. Uh, so I don't know if you can see in there, it's Ivy Lee, and then it says Copenhagen, made in Portugal, size 39. And like I said, there's, there's some, I did use a suede brush a little bit, but I try not to mess with it too much. Cause honestly, I've done more harm than good sometimes, but uh, I really like the color and just a really fun pair of shoes for fall and winter. So I think the comps for these kind of range, I think I priced right around 59, somewhere around there. So I'm probably expecting right around 40 for these. And I think some people said that it's, it's been sold at Anthropology. I didn't go check the brand list. I wouldn't be surprised based off of the style, but I'm sure it's not exclusive to Anthropology. So, all right. We all know I love selling outerwear. I know it's not everyone's favorite. And I know I've been asked, you know, can I do a video on brands, outerwear brands or things like that? It's not really a style of video I do, but if you want to know what's selling as far as outdoor wear brands, just go to REI's website and look through their brand list and look through some of their styles um, because they carry some really great stuff. Some of it is very expensive. And so it's got a really great resale value. These shoes are an example of something sold at REI. Here's the brand right here. They're A-H-N-U, Anu. And I don't think these have been worn at all. They are a really great hiking, low heel, um, hiking shoe, hiking boot. These are a size 10 or 10 and, 10 and a half women's. And like I said, I don't think they've been worn at all <laughs> because there's no dirt on them. And uh, so I was really excited about these. I think I'm expecting somewhere between 40 to 50 for these. And these probably retailed for, I'd say maybe 150. So um, yeah. All right, one of my favorite finds of the day, even more than the Johnny Wise item in here, which we'll get to a little bit later, um, is this fleece. And trust me, I tried it on and I contemplated keeping it because man, oh man, the color, it is a size large. I love the um, little pocket on the sleeve. There's a kangaroo pocket on the front and it's just kind of a half zip hooded fleece. This is Outdoor Voices and the comps on this specific item were really, really great. So I'm actually, I, I can't remember the retail price. It's not sold this style exactly or this color. Anyways, I, I don't, I think these are reselling pretty close to retail value. So I think I priced this a little over a hundred dollars and I'm expecting somewhere, you know, 80, $90 for this, but definitely a great pickup perfect for the season and a great size as well. It's kind of supposed to be a little oversized. So I feel like it could range. You could wear it medium and just have it extra oversized, or you could even maybe just be an extra L or XL and also get away with this, but really great item. All right. Got some pants here. 
These are Madewell size 32, which I always love that combination. These are just a pair of kind of black. It's like a coated canvas um, almost. Uh, I wouldn't say it's coated. It's just got like a light sheen to it. And it's just, yeah. But size 32, these are, I believe, the just like a regular skinny. And yeah, I think it was a mid-rise. And I can't remember what I was expecting for these, but probably somewhere around that 35 mark especially because of the size. Here's a pair of Rolas. I haven't picked up this brand in quite some time. I believe it's an Australian brand, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I think when I first picked it up, I thought it was Los Angeles. But anyways, it is a pair of, they're kind of a high, yeah, I think they are a high rise, but they are the West Coast Super Skinny, size 28, and then they're Aussie 10, so which would be equivalent to a US six, I think they're about two sizes off. Don't quote me on that. But um, anyways, the pockets on the back are adorable, just kind of have a fun print. And they're just a skinny pair of jeans. So and I know some people are, I think people are gonna be wearing skinnies for a long time. So and I love picking up this brand because I don't find it very often. Um, the comps for that I think were probably 3540, if I'm not mistaken. All right, this is the second time I've picked up this brand. And the first time it sold pretty quickly, that one was new with tags. And this one is new with tags, which I thought was really interesting. So this is a pink kind of fit and flare halter dress, kind of a retro um, flare to it. This brand I think does pretty much exclusive retro kind of vibes, but it's called Lindy Bop UK. So it is a UK brand. Uh, there is no price on this. It just has the label tag, but it is a plus size. It's a US 2X and I'm... Yeah, I didn't see any spots. Um, it's got a little bit of wrinkles because it's been in a pile, but I thought it was adorable. So I think the comps for, I couldn't find this exact one, but because it's new with tags, because it's a 2X, I think I'm expecting probably right, right, right around 40, 45 for this, so. All right, this is another great one. This is made by Anthropology, So one of their like more recent labels. And this is a size 12, US 12. And it is just a stunning boho dress. I actually put this on my size six mannequin and it laid adorable. When I put it on me, I felt like it was a little poofy in places. So yeah, but it doesn't have much stretch, any stretch, but it is lined. It does have these kind of sheer sleeves. It's a maxi length with, with kind of a tiered, a tiered skirt. And yeah, I think this is a really adorable, they have some stock photos for this, which I don't use for my listings, but it's nice to see. They do have some stock photos for someone plus size, more like a midsize, but that's what they're considering it. And then, you know, kind of one of their traditional super thin models. And so you can kind of see how it lays on two different sizes. Um, like I said, I, I didn't like how it fit on me personally because it was a little poofy, but it's an adorable dress. And comps, I, yeah, some of them, some people are pricing this very high, especially in this size. I think I'm expecting probably 60 to 75. All right, I thought this was a great fall piece. It's free people. It's a faux leather mini skirt. It's got these little snap, uh, no, button accents on the side right here. And um, it definitely has the feel, not the smell, but the feel of real leather. It's not kind of that like fake cheap faux leather, but nothing too crazy. Just a slight exposed zipper on the back. This is a size 12. It runs small. <laughs> it runs real small. Uh, I think the waist on this with no stretch is 15. So I would say this is probably better for like an eight. Sometimes for people, it's just so oversized and sometimes it runs small. It's just fun like that. But with this, it, the comps aren't that great for this. I'm probably only expecting 25 to 30. All right, this was a new brand to me and they actually had really great comps. Um, and it's a golf brand, I believe. Or I saw a lot of golf stuff. This is a golf skirt. Is it a skirt? I'm pretty sure it has the little, yeah, it has the little shorts underneath. And uh, it's a size large, which is great. This exact style, one of them sold for 70 or something like that, which is kind of crazy. I don't think I priced that high, but it is an adorable little uh, golf skirt and it's a great size. So I think I'm expecting probably right around 50 for this. All right, here's a pair of athletic leggings and I don't find this brand very much and I do like it. This is unfortunately my size and my favorite color, but 
um, I don't think it's, I don't know if you can see it. It's aloe. Um, they are a high rise, uh, just right at 10 or 10 and a half inches. Here's the logo for aloe yoga. And I don't need these. I'm usually kind of a black workout person because then the sweat doesn't show as much <laughs> for me personally, but these are just a great pair of basic leggings, no pockets. I think they're an ankle length and um, very light pilling right here, but not bad at all. So I think the comps for these are probably right about 35. I recently picked up this Anthropology brand and Harkham, Harkham. Uh, this is a size medium. It's just a blouse. I thought it was just a fun print brown and it's kind of like a lavender blue purplish kind of color but um yeah it's I think a really great career piece um especially if you just like threw this on with a pair of jeans and a cute pair of shoes I think especially like brown shoes I don't ever really buy a lot of brown even though I like the color scheme but I do like this combo so I'm probably not going to get much for this maybe 25 but it wasn't very much I really liked the print I knew it would photograph well Here's a lovers and friends, lovers and friends, kind of a cropped sweater. I think this is an extra small. And I do like the sleeves, just a nice little pleated accent right at the wrist. And it does have a tie on the back. Uh, yeah, I, I love mustard yellow. I think I always will. So with this, you know, this brand is so hit or miss. Sometimes it sells well for me. It usually takes a while to sell, but um, it doesn't. it's just not a fast mover for me. I think with this, it's a good fall piece if someone wears some, maybe some high-waisted jeans. So this, I'm thinking probably about 25 to 30 is um, what I'm expecting. All right, this I really like for fall. Free people, size, medium. It's just a peasant blouse, and it's just kind of this taupe color, but it has the kind of Swiss dot look, but they are actually kind of exposed. It's got a little bit of the crochet um, and it's just a nice little button front. So I think this is a great fall piece and a little bit of fringe, if you can see around the collar, but uh, yeah, very kind of boho, easy to wear. I'm expecting probably about 25 to 30 for this. This is a new with tags anthropology. I did cut off the tag because they had uh, marked it down and so I just cut that off. It was like red marker. Um, but it's a, a beautiful shade of this blue green kind of a patchwork. It is semi sheer. So I think someone have to wear it over a tank top, but it's, um, I think it's a great layering piece as well. So size medium, I can't remember the original price. I want to sit, I can't remember. I'm not even going to try and make up, but I liked it. All right. Another pair of Madewell. This is the slim straight size 27 distressed mid-rise so you've got some distressing on each knee and just a skinny or a slim slim skinny slim it's slim um but yeah probably get somewhere right around 30 to 35 for these all right it's been a while since i found this brand i want to say my mom found it in like my first couple months of reselling and we were thrifting kind of new to everything and it sold pretty quick for me i haven't i don't think i found it since so that was almost three years ago but misa los angeles some of their stuff can resell for very for a high dollar this is a very lightweight um it's got an elastic kind of ruching around the waist it's like a midi just kind of a peasant dress it's not the most exciting it does have a little bit of tassel detail some of their stuff is very boho and beautiful um, with this, I'm still expecting probably, or maybe 35 to 40, um, just cause this brand does do really well, but some of their stuff, if you find the brand can sell for a hundred plus. So, um, yeah, I'm always kind of keeping an eye out for that specific brand. All right. This is not, uh, a brand I typically pick up and I, I think that's fine if we're not drawn to a certain brand or if you've had like experience not selling well with something. This brand I have sold quite a few times. It just doesn't sell for much. Now this is a plus size and I just loved the print. I just have such a hard time finding plus, like cute plus size stuff that I really like. But this is Babao. I'm not sure how you say it, but I think I've heard it five different ways from all different people. Uh, size 3X, it kind of has this strappiness on the back. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. It's kind of an effortless piece to just dress up or down. And um, it is polyester, so it's nothing fancy. I'll probably only get 
20, maybe 25 because of the size and the style. But again, this is not a brand. I usually, I pass on this brand 99.9% .9 of the time. All right. When I first sold this brand, it sold really well. And I think the comps have gone down, but this piece I could not leave behind. It's absolutely beautiful. And, and, uh, Lota Stenson, I'm not sure if that's exact, um, is kind of known for her tunics and uh or caftans sorry caftans and so that's this is one of her like more classic pieces and i just love all the sequins the embroidery the blue and the greens it's just absolutely stunning so i think someone could wear this with you know a cami underneath and wear it over some jeans and i just think it's a really great fun look uh this is a 100 silk it's size small uh i say this in every video but if this were my size <laughs> i would keep it wear it once a week uh, but it's got these slits on both sides so i think it just would really flow with a nice pair of um, skinny jeans but i think the comps for this i aimed a little high because the style was on point but i think i'm expecting probably right around 40. i think the first piece i sold of hers sold for like 60 75. so again it's worth looking up it might not not in, i don't think every piece will sell well but all right here's a pair of jeans and it is called Saint Motorcycle Denim. And they sell a lot of men's jeans, um, but I believe these are women's. And so here is some information on the inside. It's got a lot of stretch. Uh, some people are selling the men's jeans of this brand for like 150 to $200. Not everyone, but this unbreakable line seems to be pretty common. It's got some sort of Dyneema. Anyways, this I believe is an Australian brand as well. So when you look at the tag, it says 14. It is not a 14 US. I believe it's a US 10 women's, but they are just a pair of blue skinny jeans. And I couldn't find as many women's comps, but the men's did pretty well. So um, here's hoping. I think I'm expecting around 75. I'm pretty sure is what I'm aiming for. Um, but again, the comps are a little more, they're a little less consistent with the women's items. All right, this is an upcycled item. It's with an orange tab, vintage Levi's, and the Levi's tag inside has been removed, but this tag was sewn in, which is the upcycling company, and it's called Petros. So the comps for Petros Levi's upcycled stuff are a little all over the place, but a lot of it's consistently 35, 40 around there. Um, now this is a little girl's size skirt. This is a size or a little boys either way, um, because it's just upcycled. So it says 14 back here. Uh, this would be, I would, I would guess an extra, extra small or extra small in women's. I did put it under girls because I don't know. Um, but it does have the orange tab. I know they brought back the orange tab um, more recently, so I know that's not a telltale sign always, but this company was interesting to look up and they have some really fun stuff if you're looking for some fun Levi's upcycled stuff. All right, I got a few anthropology skirts. Skirts aren't my favorite to sell or pick up. They're usually a slow seller for me, but they do sell for me. Um, this is Leaf's Daughter, 100% suede leather. Love this blue color. It actually has kind of a lined skirt underneath so this slit doesn't show too much of the leg the little buck buckle accent this is a size six a very heavy skirt absolutely love this now there is a spot i know if you take it to a leather suede cleaner they could probably get it off someone just sat on something <laughs> but i think it's pretty minor uh i couldn't find this exact skirt and anthropology skirts usually don't do that well for me the majority of times so i'll probably only get hopefully 30 because it's just a great piece. But yeah, if it sits for a while, it might only get about 25. A couple other anthro skirts. This is Maeve, size medium. And I just thought this was a really great fall piece. I mean, this is kind of a three season, fall, spring, summer. Um, I think just fall because it feels a little bit warmer. But yeah, this will probably only sell for about 20 to 25 but I do like the length and the look. This is another one. This is Sparrow, size medium. So this all could have been the same person for all I know, um, but this is a really, a lot of stretch. I think this other one was very stretchy as well. A uh, little bit, not too much stretch on this, but this one just looks really comfortable. So anyways, probably about 20, 25 for that one as well. 
I love Eileen Fisher. It's just a bread and butter for me. I find it pretty often and even the basics do pretty well for me. Uh, size small. These are a pair of slacks. They're wool, 100% wool slacks. And they kind of have more of that like itchy traditional, but they are kind of a straight leg. They have a zipper, a fly, and a really great item, I think for fall, winter, it's just classic. With these probably, possibly 40, 45 for these. Here's an Eileen. I got two Eileen Brown items. This is an XL. It's just a shell, which is a great layering piece. So just silk. You can throw a cardigan over this, dress it up or down, and I'll probably get about 25 for that. All right, Kate Spade is a hit or miss brand for me, um, but I really liked this style. I felt like it was very classic Kate. I say her name as if I knew her. Uh, it also had the, the ribbon tie around the waist, which, you know, sometimes when you're out thrifting, things are missing, and so it's always nice when it's kind of complete. So it is just a jacket, snap front. It's got the ribbon around the waist. I didn't snap it all the way, but um, these just kind of larger snaps. This is Kate Spade, New York, uh, size four, but it fit perfectly on the size six mannequin. And I just thought this was a classic piece, never goes out of style. So um, with this one, I'm hoping for probably, I can't remember how I priced this, but maybe 40, 50 for this. All right, this is an anthropology brand I haven't seen before, but the tag looks very anthro. Not that that always is a factor, but I did see the stock photo, the anthropology stock photo of this item when I was doing some research. So I do believe this was actually sold at anthropology, but it's an adorable sweater. It's just got a kind of almost mock neck. I feel like you could just roll that once and it's just kind of a, a mock neck, but I like the color scheme. The comps aren't too great, but comps for things in the last couple months that are fall winter might be skewed because it's been hot. When we get into fall, the comps are a little less reliable to a degree. So I always price a little bit higher than the, the past couple months. So I'm hoping maybe for about 30 for that. All right, one of my favorite pieces from the day is this beautiful blouse. This brand I have sold once before for like, $80, $90, and then another time only for like 20. So I do try to look up comparable items for this brand, but it's C New York and similar items. I couldn't find a black and cream one, but similar tops to this from this brand. We're selling close to a hundred. So I feel like this is definitely a score. It's got a back that's got buttons down the vertically down the back. And this part by the neckline is kind of a cream. And then this is more like an off-white on the rest of it. So absolutely stunning. This is a size eight and beautiful. Here's a fun one. This brand, usually if it's kind of a fun graphic on their sweaters, it does pretty well for me, uh, like 40 to $50 range. But some uh, basic stuff from wooden ships will only sell for me for 2025. So this has a heart on it. <laughs> it's a small medium. Their sizing is always um, at the back of the label tag and they're always very soft and cozy. It's got Angora, mohair, mohair, acrylic, and wool. I think they almost always have that combo, but anyways, adorable. Here's a brand I've only sold once. It was a, a, a couple scrubs. Uh, by figs. They were like a light pink and they did really well. Not all figs do extraordinarily well, but this is a nice sweater. It does have the figs logo at the bottom. And yeah, going into fall, our uh, nurses and doctors are going to need some, some things to stay in those air conditioned rooms. So I think this is a great layering piece. And I think the comps for that exact sweater were 35-ish around there. So Here's a great little free people thermal. This is a size medium. These are always kind of a fitted style, but the cuff has some embroidery and I can't remember, did this have a spot on it? I feel like this had a very tiny spot somewhere, which I just noted, but um, yeah, it's a great, in my opinion, wearing this with like leggings and ski boots at a ski lodge and sipping on a hot toddy after skiing all day. That's my visual with these thermals <laughs> most of the time. Um, or you could just wear it wherever, but um, yeah. All right, a Barefoot Dreams. This is the Bamboo Chic Light. It's just a black cardigan. It's got a little bit of the 
waterfall front and it's kind of a mid-length. So this is a size small medium and a great basic for fall winter. Uh, the comps, I think I'm expecting probably right around 45 for that, 40, 45. This one already sold. Please tell me that's not a spot. <laughs> I'm thinking, did, did I make, did I make a spot in the two weeks I've had this? Uh, this is a blue blouse. It sold, I think for right around $25. It's COS, which is a higher end line in the H&M family. And I'm going to get this shipped out today. I'm going to actually toss it right over on my couch so I don't forget. Here's a Prana dress, extra small. It's gray. It just kind of has this teal lining, long sleeve, faux wrap, really great travel dress because it's comfortable and you can kind of dress it up or down. Um, yeah, great basic. I'll probably expect right around 25 to 30 for that. Here's the other Eileen Fisher brown item. This is a knit top, another great layering item as well. This is not the same owner because the other one was a size XL. And this is also a newer Eileen Fisher tag, but size small, nice little knit V-neck top. So probably about 25, 25 for that as well. All right, so these jeans I almost passed on. I couldn't find any, any info on the button. There was no tag back here. And then I, when I saw this, I remembered, I've seen this before. So um, I kind of was, it's made in Italy. And I was like, I feel like I've picked this up. Anyways, if you can see right down here, it actually says Martin Mar Margella. Um, and size 14 is the UK size. So this is actually, I think a US size 10. But these are just a straight leg pair of jeans, dark wash, and yeah, some of the comps for jeans by this designer are selling between $100 to $200. Um, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> I am okay with that. But the comps are mixed and I'm not sure how quickly it will sell. But if I, I think I priced right around $149. So I'm hoping for probably right around $100. And they also, just the retail price on those, not that exact pair, but jeans on their website are around six to $700 for most of them is what I saw. Here's another anthropology skirt. This is Maeve for anthropology. This is an adorable tweed skirt. And then it's got this little fringe accent on the bottom. It also has just a little exposed zipper partway down the back. And the comps for this aren't great, but I am hoping because it's such a great fall winter skirt piece, you can layer it with some tights and stuff like that. Um, size six, I'm hoping for about 25 to 30 for this. All right, I think many of us, when we go out to a thrift store, there's like that one brand. And I think a lot of us that sell women's clothing where we, we, we hope to find it, I think a lot of us that sell women's clothing, this is, this is a favorite, this is a fan favorite, Johnny was. Now, this is kind of a lightweight, semi-sheer blouse, sleeveless blouse. It is a little bit longer, um, extra small, so it's almost a tunic length, but uh, absolutely beautiful print. It does have a little bit of ruching right here at the top of the sleeve, and I think this is a great layering piece. So with this, I'm actually still looking up comps. There's a couple of these items that I photographed last night um, so that I could get this video filmed. And this is one of them. I think I should be able to get at least $50. This is not an, an extravagant uh, Johnny Was piece, but it is a great print. So probably right around there. Another pair of Madewell jeans. This is the High Riser Skinny, size 27. Um, these do have a couple of very faint spots on it, which I just noted in the listing, but distressed. Uh, I think that maybe a, a, the owner, the previous owner cut these off to make a raw hem. I don't think this is factory done, but um, just a great pair of jeans, distressed jeans. So with those probably right around 35 as well. All right, this is not a high-end brand, but it is a great fall piece in my opinion, and it's plus size. So it is a size 26, 28 Lane Bryant. It's a nice little chambray. Um, pop over top, which I think is just a great basic. So, you know, put this with a pair of black pants, a fun little pop of, you know, flats or something. And I think it's an adorable outfit. So with this, I'm hoping for about 25 is what the comps look like. I didn't get that many men's items. This was actually in the women's section. So that's how I found it. I, mean, I don't even really think I looked much at the men's stuff because I was just finding so much great stuff in the women's. Uh, this is a Ted Baker kind of utility 
jacket, field jacket, uh, Ted Baker size three. I can't remember. Um, I'll write on the screen what the Ted Baker size three for men's is, but it's a great basic. And I want to say I'm expecting maybe $50, $60 for this. All right. I didn't inspect this uh, very well, but it's this beautiful dress. A lot of people are saying it was sold at Anthropology, and I think I did see a stock photo of uh, an anthro model wearing this, but the brand is Boyad, Boyode, uh, size small. It does have a few missing sequins, which I had to note. It does have this elastic waist. It's just a cute little cocktail dress with kind of these peacock feather is how I envision it. Uh, so with a couple missing sequins, I'm probably only gonna get, you know, maybe $30 for this, but it is a beautiful dress, so. This was a new athletic wear brand for me, Barley. Uh, so it's just a little popover sweater. So on the back, you can tie it. I just did a quick knot, but um, anyways, it's a it's an adorable style. Uh, the comps for this brand are pretty good. So I'm actually expecting, I think 35 to 40 for this, which would be great. So, all right, here's a little mini skirt, denim, made well. I think I've sold this exact one. This is the stretched denim A-line and it is a size six. These don't have the best comps, but I do think this is a great item to layer with some leggings for fall. So I'm hoping for about 25 for this. Here's a pair of Hudson. This is the Nico mid-rise ankle. Um, the reason I, pick, I, don't, I don't pick up a, a lot of Hudson, but the reason I picked this up is because the camo print. Camo, I feel like there's always going to be a group of people who are wearing camo all the time, and then it comes in and out as like a trend. So um, yeah, I tend to do okay with camo stuff. This is a size 29, so they do have a little stretch and just a basic skinny ankle pant jeans. Uh, probably about 30 to 35 for this. All right, this is a Eloquy dress. I've sold this brand a couple times. It is, I think, a really great fall item with the color scheme. And it's just got these two kind of bold um, maroon burgundy kind of stripes. Size 16, Eloquy, a little bit of a, like a fit and flare. And yeah, put this with a pair of black shoes and you have an adorable outfit. So with this, I'm expecting probably right around 30. This was a new brand to me. And to be honest, I wanted to do a little bit more research and I forgot. Um, Adolfo Dominguez, if you can see right there, it's kind of tiny. Size 38, I picked these up off of style. I thought they were just kind of an adorable little style. It's kind of a soft corduroy, has the pleating. Um, and it looks like this is a pretty expensive brand, but the comps were very all over the place. So I don't think I'm expecting much for these, maybe about 30 but uh, I always love picking up new brands. These pair of pants appear to be, have been sold at Anthropology, and I have not seen the tag before. Uh, so Travata, California, Birds of Paradise. Yeah, uh, these are kind of more of a summer pant, but it's got the waist tie. It's not quite paper bag style, but reminiscent. And then it's a cropped straight leg and definitely a high rise so you would wear it higher but i think these look really comfortable and they come in different colors some of the comps for some of the colors were i think about 35 ish so i'm probably expecting about somewhere you know around 30 is my guess all right i picked up a couple tanks not because it's tank season but because tanks are easy to layer this is a an anthropology I actually tried this on thinking i might keep it but i didn't really like the way it fit it's dolan left coast collection Size medium, just green. Um, I think it has room for a bump. This is another item where I feel like it would be a good maternity item. But anyways, I'll probably only get about 15, 18 for this. Again, there were a couple of these that I picked up wanting to try on for myself. So here is a Michael Kors, Michael by Michael Kors XL. Not a brand I pick up, but it's just a great navy. It's got a little bit of a rounded hem, which I like and slight high-low. Um, also, the size was great. So this was just a great basic. Their tank tops are, aren't very expensive at this store. So I'll probably only get about 20 for that, but I like basics. And then this is another anthropology. This is Diletta. This one I just picked up because I liked the style and I liked the peekaboo print on the side and then kind of layered underneath, if you can see right there. So another one, I feel like you could throw a light cardigan over this and it's a great fall piece or a great summer piece with uh, shorts.
All right, I did a little stain treatment on this pair of pants and I thought it was worth it to try because whites you can usually, at least with me, do some decent st stain treatment. This is Derek Lamb, 10 Crosby. And these are size four. I'm gonna try not to get them on my floor at the moment, but they are just kind of a straight leg pant. They do have kind of a seam on both sides on the side. So when you're wearing it, it's kind of like a, a wider seam, but great pair of basic white pants designer. Um, I, yeah, I know it's not really, <laughs> we're not going into white season, but I do, I do not, I will not pass on a good price designer item if they're in good condition, usually. So, all right, this is a fantastic jacket. It's Prana and it's, it's thick, it's warm, it's heavy, it's also convertible. So this bottom part right here, this black part, you can actually zip that off completely. So you have two different lengths. So, you know, in winter, fall, maybe you're wearing leggings and you want something to cover your bum completely and you can add that on, or maybe you want it a little bit shorter and a more classic look. So anyways, this is a great jacket. Uh, I'm expecting maybe around 50 for this. Again, comps for winter items are a little off right now, so. All right, two more items. This is kind of retro and fun. And I decided to, to grab it because it wasn't marked very high. It's Adidas jacket. It does have a hood that zips into, or sorry, yeah, a hood that zip, zips into the neckline area. But I liked the color scheme. I liked that it had a retro flair and I'm expecting maybe about 30, 35 for this. All right, lastly, after holidays, after, after this next season is January when everyone does athletic wear because they want to get back in shape. So I'm already starting to keep an eye out for athletic wear. This is Z, Z by Zella, which is not their higher end. That's kind of their cheaper Nordstrom rock line. Uh, but I liked it because of the rose color and just a great pair of leggings. So with these, I'll probably only get about 18 to 20, but it's okay. They didn't cost me very much. So that's it. That's my mega haul for my honey haul. Be sure to hit the thumbs up on your way out. I think the next one will be a thrift with me. Uh, so stay tuned for that soon. Bye guys.